I'm assuming this is gonna be our next like main temple to do or whatever you want to call it. There's a homie in here. Hello. An explorer type with that hat and some walking stick. <laughs> Greetings, young man. I am Urbane the archaeologist. I have spent most of my life in search of the Rosetta Stone. Wow, it's actually the Rosetta Stone. We did. I. You know what? The Rosetta Stone, like program they use to help people learn like other languages, IRL is based on the Rosetta Stone from ancient Egypt, so I shouldn't be surprised. Obviously not in my formative years. I have come so far, but this task is impossible. Now I'll never recover the secret of the Rosetta Stone. Please follow me. Let me show you something very interesting. These ancient writings on the wall here say that the stone was shattered into six pieces and that the pieces were hidden inside this temple. However, it also says that they are guarded by ferocious beasts. I am too old and frail to venture inside the temple. Alas, I shall die without realizing my dream. But wait, you are young and strong, as I think I once was. Go forth into the temple, if you have the stomach for adventure. If you find the Rosetta Stone pieces, return them to me, and make an old man happy. I'll teach you a new language. The jibbity jibbity gobbity gook of the ancient Egyptians. You will learn it from me, yes. All right, so first off, there's a save point right here. I'm going to use that first. And we're going to replenish my scarab thing, because I have one more upgrade to do with 200. But I obviously want to refill my wallet in general, just to have it filled. All right, so this is a locked door, maybe? Oh, you know what? Heavy chains are locking the door. The uh, This kind of heavy chain? Yup. Not locked anymore, bitch. Oh god. Spoon snack. Give me that money, boy. The money ain't getting away from me, boy. Uh oh. Whack. Yo, I found one of the Rosetta Stone pieces. Wow, that wasn't guarded by a very hard monster. You lied to me. You said they were all guarded by a ferocious beast. It was just behind one locked door, homie. That wasn't even hard to find. Too easy. I'ma save it again. I'm going to say it's coming full right now. I don't even give a shit. All right. One piece down. That's the way I came in here. All right. I'll grab that. I am hurting a bit from the fight outside. Also, these are capture beetles. I can only hold that many. Okay. Another one of these. Two acid down. Boop. Alright, see what we got behind door number two. A swish. The platform did move, it just took a second to start. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Alright, another one to acid down. Poop. See what we got behind another door. Ooh, more platforming. Alright, good times. Good times await. Good, good times. They await you. Platforming skills. I am full of them. Right, let's start by breaking this. Or not. Okay, so I need some kind of key for that, I guess. Well, then I guess we'll start by going to this door so we can acid burn it open. Just gonna systematically explore this place as best I can. What's over here? Alright. Another platforming situation that I gotta activate. We're going down, down, over here right now. Wait, there's some dude locked up over here. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize I was supposed to jump to the other platform. Is it gonna go again or do I have to hit the switch again? I have to hit the switch again. Cool. It's a one-time thing, okay. Noted. I thought it was gonna just go all the way across like the other one did. I didn't know I was gonna have to jump to the other platform. Alright, there's something locked up in here. Oh, it's just a dead it's a dead skeleton. Oh, don't touch that. Uh what? Uh, 
I don't know what to do about this. Can I burn these chains? Maybe. Let's see if I can burn these chains. Or maybe the ones up here? Ah, indeed. Make the honorable sacrifice. All right, these guys. I don't think I've captured one of these guys yet. Skelemans. Skeletal skull. I got his skull. All right. All right. Let me try to capture that fool again. Is he ready to be captured now? Not yet. Not yet. Get your weapon back, boy. All right. Got him. Skeletal axeman. Yeah, that's definitely a new a new capture. I haven't had that guy before. All right. Skeletal pelvis. I guess we're collecting skeleton pieces. Sure. I got his leg. Do the stanky leg, y'all. Do the stanky leg. Got the arm. Okay. This might be the clue of what to do exactly here. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Oh, it disappeared before I could grab it. Lame. The bones of the undead must be offered in order from head to toe, from left to right. Head to toe, left to right. You got it. Head to toe, which means skull is first. Alright. Arm next. Pelvis is up next. And last, we end off with the stanky leg. Booyah! Booyah! Cool, I get to platform more. Just what I wanted. Damn, there's hella burn spots here. I need a way to burn stuff without having to damn get a fire armadillo. That's so annoying. I wonder if acid uh, works on those boxes. I know they're wooden, but will acid work on them also? Because that'd be, that'd be such a time saver. Nope. Has to be Armadillo Man, which is great. Because... Maybe I'll get a fire power or something, man. I know, right? No flint or steel to light that shit. It's so annoying. What are you? That's a new enemy. I want to capture you for sure. All right. When you're okay. Got him. I got a dark warshipper. All right. Sweet. Another new enemy caught. Fantastical. Part of me kind of wants to make sure I capture two of everything now, or at least stuff that I might need for the damn homie, you know, that wants certain monsters. God, I need... I hope there's just flame armadillos in here that I can capture so I can use them. Yeah, so toxic metal melts... Uh, toxic melts metal, but not wood. Ancient Egyptians sure did stuff differently indeed. Makes all the sense to me, right? Hmm. Is this meltable? It is. Is this chain meltable? Wow, lots of meltable chains around here. I should be melting all these fools. Alright. Can I lift this up? No. 
What's the point of knocking that down if I can't lift it up? Also, that opened up the door, which doesn't help me in that situation. Because I can't burn it. Burn it. Alright, we found our second Rosetta Stone piece, though, so that's good. I'm about to just uncover all these fools and see what the heck, man. Well, now I'm starting to think that chain down there was burnable and I just didn't hit the chain. It was. Did that do anything when I unburned it? Oh, they dropped a mass of darts. I want those. Not going to make it in time, pool. Uh, oh, I burned all that and didn't get shit out of it because I didn't make it in time. Cool. Really glad I wasted my time jumping down. Whatever. It's fine. We'll get back up. There's more chains over there. Hmm. I wonder. Aha! Secret doors. Haha. -ha. Okay, well, we didn't finish exploring. Let's make sure we finish exploring. Get every chain you see in the game, man. Make sure you crispify all of them. Shadow Fool! You don't scare me, huh, Shadow Fool? I wrecked his butthole. Get some, homie. <clears throat> No chains over there, but there are probably chains over here because there was more doors over here. Crazy. All right. Part of me is just hoping there's like an, a fire armadillo spawn spot around here because, damn, there's hella burnable boxes in here that I cannot burn. What did I just say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here, burn it for me. Save me the effort. Thank you. Ow, dick. Alright. Burned all those. Good stuff. Now, let's capture a few. Fucking snack. Alright, I hope the fire dude respawns. I want to capture, like, a few of them. Because <clears throat> there, there was some down there, too, right? Wasn't there? Maybe not. Maybe none down there. But there's definitely one over there. Let me go burn that one real quick. I hope that that dude respawns when I get back. Oh, there's two of them. Well, maybe I can burn them both. That'd be great. Well, I might have missed my chance to do both, but oops. Oopsie. I mean, the prize inside of them is probably just a bunch of scarabs regardless, so... Damn it, he didn't respawn. Unfortunate. Alright. Because there's definitely more up here, too. The one behind this cage in particular is one I would very much like to get. Also, there are chains below me that I just noticed. Can I burn those, too? Do any of those chains serve a purpose? I have no idea, but I'm going to burn them all. What's up, Sparty? Welcome in. How you doing? I'm going to burn all these fucking chains. Even if it does nothing, just do it. Burn every chain you got. You'll never burn the chains. Burn the chains. That didn't do shit. It burned the chains. Alright, that's cool. Anyway, another boring day at the office for you, Sparty. But you did pick up a copy of Super Mario Wonder. Nice. Have fun. I keep hearing nothing but good things. OK, 
Okay, can't jump over that. Noted. Uh, what this do? Okay, well, I think we can figure that out. Huzzah! If everyone wasn't praising it, you probably would have waited. That's fair enough. For me, it's another game that I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to play it. I just don't know when I'm going to play it. So it's one of those games that will probably be the same price no matter what. So, yeah. I'll just buy it when I'm ready to play it. Not worried about being able to get a copy of that one. It's a Mario game, you know? Oh, it's one of those guys. I didn't expect that. I don't know why. Fuck these guys, man. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. I don't think I want to capture another one of these guys. Ow. Why do I always let them fall on me? Oh, shit. Well, there's the glyph key. That's dope. Wasn't sure that was going to be my prize, but I'll take it. Imagine the price if it did end up in short supply, though. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? A Mario game in short supply would be fucking gold. Gold plastic, man. Gold in a plastic form. All right. Well, I got the glyph key for that thing down there, so that's good. Uh, I don't think there's anything else for me up here, so I can just jump down. I'm going to burn every chain, though. Burning every chain. I don't give a fuck if there's no prize for burning them all. I'm burning them all. Every chain must burn. Wonder if you'll live to see the day that Nintendo closes its doors. Probably not. But maybe. It's always a chance. I thought for sure Apple would have problems before I, you know, I died, but Apple's still running quite strong these days. Nintendo has been around since the 1800s. That is true. So the likelihood they fuck up anytime soon is pretty low. Nintendo could easily pivot if they found that they're... Especially if their proprietary console situation fell apart. They would still have all their game IPs to fall back on. So I doubt they're going to have any issues, you know, in the future overall. Anyway, there's our third piece of Rosetta Stone. No, I needed that. Son of a bitch. I figured he would drop one and it flew right off the damage. What a dick. All right, so that is another situation. I got to get over there and do that side. Still many more chains to burn, burn, burn. There's another door on the other side as well. Huh. All right. Um, I guess I'll burn the door because... Yep. While we're at it, we'll start burning these. I'm going to do them one at a time in case enemies come out. I'm happy that there's two easy Rosetta Stone pieces. That's nice. So we're down to four. We've got, we picked up four so far. I feel like we've done a pretty good, pretty good service on the situation. And this is the Acid Dart Dungeon. All we're using up in this bitch. Alright, well, we're rolling in 150 scarabs again, so that's cool. I think I've crispied all the chains. Well, actually, there's a couple of chains over here. I wonder if this will open the door if I burn these. That opened the door, but it didn't extend the bridge. 
The bridge will probably extend when I get the other glyph key for that other glyph, so let's go through this other door first. Anyway, the Metal Gear Solid Collection just came out. You're told the Switch version requires you to download the games even if you buy the physical. Well, for Switch, I'm not surprised, Sparty. I'm not surprised. But for PS5, yeah, I wouldn't imagine it. It's probably on the actual disc. But also, hey, FML, this game looks old enough to drink because it probably is. Or close to it, at least. Alright. So doing this again. We. I'm assuming I gotta go from platform to platform again. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't expect him to play do si do Well, that was a surprise. Get ready for the do si do I guess. Kia. Alright. Anticipate. Make your platform jump like a pro. That's how we do. Alright, start melting some acid and opening these doors, I'm assuming. Yup. What this? It's a lever? I'll pull the lever after I open up everything. How about that? Hello! I've already caught one of these guys, so... No one worry about capturing him. Health, please. Thank you. So there's an update. That place in Indiana called me earlier. They wanted a second interview with their CEO, owner, and another designer. Well, that's a good sign. Especially if it's a job you want, FML. Hopefully you get it. Second interviews are usually a good sign that you're probably going to get an offer at the, of the job. So don't fuck it up. Alright, come out here and play, bitch. Anyway, apparently you're in the top two candidates. Oh, there's two people, huh? Alright. Well, like I said, hopefully it works out for you, sir. Anyway, there's a bunch of levers. Let's pr let's pull one. Let's see what they do. Oh, okay. It's one of these things where I have to pull them all, and it'll lower the thing all the way, probably. Make sure to shit talk the other candidate a lot. Wow. I think the rest of this is just me burning down the, the chain. Yup. Okay. So now we have a block. Oh shit, I didn't think I could actually jump that high. Alright, well, that's how you get on top of it. Oh, hello. I don't remember what you're called, but I don't want to say you are not one of the things I need to capture. So I'm not going to worry about it. The, other, the thing about it is the other candidate might just be full of shit. You mean the other candidate is full of shit or there isn't actually another candidate and they're just telling you there is, FML? Oh, you like my lightsaber? You think it's pretty dope? You like my smexy lightsaber? Oh, oh. These guys. I've never caught them before. You look new. Almost a bull. Okay, we got one. I need one more extra for the museum, though. You know what? I think I have fought those guys. Also, where the fuck did that thing come from? Hello. I want you. I want to capture you, actually. Actually, before I capture you, let me, let me have you burn this. Sir, come here. Burn this. Burn this for me real quick. Any more to burn before I kill you? Yeah, actually, come over here. Burn this. Alright. I kind of hope that one respawns, because I'm going to need him. Also, there's more chains to burn. Burn them all. Leave no chain left unburned. Alright, Fire Fireboy did respawn. Good. I'm glad.
Oh god. It wasn't enough. Nice. You like that timing, don't you? Alright, let's go burn this fucking thing over here real quick. Because clearly that's what we need to do. What is this? A pull up. I guess a pull switch. Um, is it going to stay? I think it's a timed one. Oh, man. Or wait. Oh. Why you got to do it like that? Why you got to do it like where I can't do both? You think they made up the other candidate and the CEO just wants reassurance? Yeah, exactly. Sometimes they tell you it's 50-50 when you're really the only real good choice for the job. They don't want to get your hopes up and assume that you already got it. You know, they don't want you to get cocky, Star Fox. You know what I'm saying? But just go into the interview, go into the interview with confidence. Don't go into it like, oh, I already got this, but, you know. Just assume that they do want you. And, uh, you know, good luck. Hopefully you get it. If it's what you really want. Hopefully you get it. Alright. I kind of want to capture a few of these dudes. Because that previous room definitely had at least two that I didn't get. I mean, I'm not expecting anything like game breaking to be any of these boxes. In fact, I probably won't even go burn them all down because every single one of these I expect them to be scarabs and nothing useful. Wow. Yeah, make sure to ask that question because it's super important. Don't, obviously. I'm assuming we're about to get the other glyph key up here so we can go through the other side. Do I have... How many Rosetta Stone pieces? I still have four, right? I didn't get another one yet. Oh, man. This guy again. Dude! Asshole. Oh, is that always your, fir always your first question, Sparty? So... Probably why you're never going to get a different job. Alright. Anyway, that's another glyph key for me, baby. Any reason to be up here still? Uh, 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 probably not. Alright. Other glyph key in place. Exactly. You may win that free trip into the police car you always dreamed of. Exactly. Isn't that what you want? You want a brand new trip in a police car! Like, hell yeah! Vacation time, y'all! Free lodging? Hell yeah! Gonna have to fight after that one, probably. I missed a piece somewhere though, because that's only five. Who wants a fucking piece? Kaka, kaka! Just a bunch of these dudes? You don't scare me none. Bring on the bitches, y'all. Who wants some? Couple of kitty cats. Ice guard. Get wrecked, kitty. Fuck those kitties up, son. Get some. Ah, a couple of goat demons. Okay, these are gonna be a little harder. Only a little, though. Ow. Oh, God. 
Can I stop being stuck in the corner? Because that's bad. I wonder if I can shoot these guys with an acid dart. Oh, that don't do shit. Alright, one down. Nope, not dead yet. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Dude, stop cornering me, bro. Wow. I just died. Fuck, I just died. I just died. It just occurred to me what that means. Fuck. I have to do this whole place again. Fuck. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. God fucking damn it. Because I didn't have... Uh, I didn't have a save point in here, man. Well. Okay, this isn't even a path. I thought this was a path over here. Cool. It just occurred to me I hadn't saved it like at all in this place. That's fun. Fun for all the kitties. Wait. There's all these. I didn't burn these. Do these matter? I don't think I got them all. There's some on the outside, too. Hold up. Man, I'm so annoyed with myself for dying there. Holy shit, man. I'm so sad. I'm starting to think these ones are not going to do anything. Uh, I'm sad panda right now, dude. Sad, sad panda. I'm going to stop burning all the chains, though. There's really no point for me to burn them all. I've just been burning them all because I thought I had to, but I don't think I have to. And yes, I did not murder the little kitties in real life. They're only two days old, man. I'm not a monster. All right. We're doing the Skeleton fight again. Yay. And we got to do all this again. That's so annoying. I have to capture stuff again, too. Shit, I gotta remember that. I gotta remember to capture all the fools I had captured before, too. Son of a biscuit! Alright, one down. Get up, fool! Break yourself, fool. This game really doesn't like throwing more than two enemies at you at once. It's like they feel that, 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 that that's unfair. Which, with those goat demons, it would be. But other enemies, like, they get whacked around pretty easily. I'm surprised they don't throw more than two enemies at you. At least bigger enemies. Smaller enemies, there's been more than two, for sure. Okay, I already know the clue. Put the head first. I'm on. Slow ass loading game. Pelvis. Leg. <clears throat> it's like I need more fighting abilities, man.
Uh, I can't remember if it was worth burning all these chains over here, but I'm going to do it anyways. At the very least, it's scarabs, right? So. Oops. Or some more capture beetles that I don't really need. Come here, you bitch tits. Wow, he's stuck. Man, he was stuck up there. There wasn't anything I could do about it. That was lame. Oh, well. To capture. Got him. Maybe if we on the safe side, I'll capture another one of these guys. Just because. I don't know if I'll need it for, you know, Monster Hunter list number two. You never know. Fucking box in the way. God, burn already, you fool. I got those two. I am going to capture this armadillo regardless, so I have him. Thought he was ready to capture already. All right, we're good. I didn't burn this one open yet. Hold on. I also want to make sure I'm not missing one of the Rosetta Stone pieces somewhere because I only had five. There's supposed to be six, right? I don't want to miss one somewhere just because I didn't look everywhere, you know? It was probably on the other side. Anyway, this is definitely one of the pieces. Alright. So that's going to be part number, piece number two. And I actually am going to burn this open because I'm quite curious what was in this one. Is it just a bunch of money? Just some money. I'm a little disappointed in the outcome, but what else did I really expect it to be? Alright, shoot this fool down again. See, this is the kind of shit that's made the game take a little longer. Because I've had to redo whole sections because I didn't save it, you know? This is probably the third big section like this I've had to redo from the beginning, which kind of sucks. It's like I got through probably this whole area. It was pretty much done. I just had to go figure out where the heck I missed a piece of the stone. My own fault for fucking getting wrecked by the goat demon dudes. Of course, I'm not blaming anyone but myself, Garzonis. Ah! What do I think is the best Egyptian themed game? I don't know. I haven't played very many. I can tell you that. I'm trying to think of even another example off the top of my head of another one in general. There's plenty of desert themed areas in plenty of games, which. Uh, RPG fan brought up yesterday. He was like listing his top ten 
favorite like desert levels type stuff and I was like oh man Assassin's Creed Origins, okay, yeah, okay, that's one. I haven't played that one, but that's one, yeah, sure, sure. Alright, there's two more of these Rosetta Stone pieces over here. want all the money. Yeah, that's two pieces down. It's kind of an old FPS called Exhumed. That's one I've not even heard of. Merc the kitty. Night night. side and get the other ones I mean none of this takes that long it's just annoying that I have to do it all again you know why did I jump across I didn't need to do that another kitty to murder So I think I feel like I, if I missed a, a Rosetta Stone piece, it was on the other side over here that we're going to right now. So we'll make sure we check a little more thoroughly this time. So I find it hard to believe there wasn't one over here, you know? Because this led to the next glyph key, sure, but there wasn't. You're gonna tell me there wasn't a Rosetta Stone piece over here? That that baffles me if that's the case. Bring you, Kaka, bitch. Come out here. Play. Play. Have fun. Drop some health, fool. God, why are you such a dick about health, man? Drop it. But anyway, I zoomed to some kind of mummy shooter. Interesting. Again, I've never heard of it. But yeah, you're not, I mean, you've, you've provided two examples besides this game, obviously. So we have three examples of Egyptian themed games. I'm sure there's way more. I don't know very many. That's why I'm just like, I don't even, is that really worth choosing? Because I don't have very many options. Because there's plenty of games that have like desert parts. And that's what uh, we were talking about yesterday with the dry, dry ruins in Paper Mario. Like top desert dungeon slash areas in games. There's a good chunk of strategy games. Oh, you know what? I don't think I opened this door. There was two doors up here. I only went through one of them. I absolutely did not go in this door. Well then. You know, blessing in disguise, I had to redo it, but I would have discovered this later, but there's the last piece that I missed. My bad for not grabbing that. I knew it felt weird that I didn't pick up a piece on this side. I need to capture these guys again. Or I can murder them accidentally. Whoops. Well, I only really need one for sure, but I would like to one for the museum and for the, the quest thing. Can 
Can I get this armadillo to actually come over here? Like, follow me over here? That'd be super. Come over here, dude. He really can't come over here? Wow, he's really trapped in that room, huh? I would like to capture some extras of him just because, but, yeah. Man, I don't even know any strategy games that are based on Ancient Egypt. Unless you count, um, actually I do know one, I lied. Uh, Age of Mythology. That's the one I played. And you know what? I thought that was a great game. So you know what? I'm going to pick that as my favorite, even though I've never finished the whole campaign in that game. I love the Age games, like Age of Empires. It's, it's that same series. Age of Mythology is a great game. That's probably my favorite of the Egyptian theme stuff. Oh, I don't have any more acid darts. What the hell? How did that happen? Because I haven't been breaking open all the stuff and getting all the darts. Idiot. Crap. I don't have any more darts. Well, this is bad. See, when I was burning all the chains, there was way more darts to be had. But now that I've stopped burning them all, or bur whatever, yeah, burning them, I guess, is the right word. I'm not getting as much. This is bad. Yep, finding more ways to progress slower, which I, now I'm not even sure what I can do to fix this right now. Holy shit. I need more acid stuff, and I don't know where I'm going to get it without burning some chains, which I can't do without acid. We're stuck in a dumb loop right now. I might have to go backtrack real quick. Man. Well, I might die to this guy right now because I'm being really dumb. Jesus. All right. Well, I guess I have to jump down or go somewhere else to find these damn acid fucking rounds. Jesus. God, I feel so dumb right now. This is so dumb. I'm okay with backtracking a little bit. Because now at least I can go make a save. There is a silver lining to this. So just in case I fuck it up again and die, I don't have to do it again. There should be some in here, right? Nope, that's health. Which I also need, so I'm not mad at it. Just hoping I'm gonna get some out of that, though. Uh, you, are you really gonna make me leave to reset this place to get some more? Cause holy shit, I don't want to have to do that. Uh, fuck, I might have to, cause I don't know how else I'm gonna get some. I don't even know if this will work. The more I think about it, I'm like, where am I? I mean, this isn't going to change the fact that I need more acid rounds. Where am I going to get this? I'm not sure right now. My brain is thinking, thinking, thinking. Huh. Hoping that the pots will have some, I guess. Yay! The pots respawn and have some. Hallelujah. I mean, there is a merchant that sells them, uh, Garzonis, but I'm not going to go look for that fucker right now. I mean, I know where he is. I just have to go to him. But I don't want to have to go buy shit, okay? But anyway, I found some. We're fine. Everything's fine. I have to redo a little bit of stuff, but <clears throat> not everything, I don't think, so that's good.
Oh, I have to drop the block down again? Oh no, it's there. I think it is anyway. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, okay, it's still there. Not dealing with your bird asses right now. I'm sorry, not sorry, bye. I'm not dealing with your asses right now. Sorry, not sorry, bye. On the positive side, I can catch another one of these bull dudes. Or should I say, not bull dudes. I do have to burn open this again. <laughs> you don't lose all progress, so that's not fun. Yeah, fuck you too, Garzanis. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised it made me lose as much progress as it did, if I'm going to be real with you. What the heck? Did I not pull that all the way? I'm going to capture one more fire guy real quick. Three is fine for now. I don't want to sit here and capture a bunch of those fuckers. They're just annoying. Time to do some shimmy shams. big boy go back into your home yeah. all right got the glyph key again whoop de woo jiggle what Fuck off, cat. I'm busy. Ain't got time for your shit, cat. I'll take the extra money, though. Absolutely. Huh. Gotta make that jump. Gotta make that jump, baby. Gotta make that jump, baby. Gotta make the jump, baby. Gotta make that... Gotta make that. Ooh. Gotta make that. Gotta make that. Gotta make that. Ooh. Hooray! Alright. Good to go. Let's get the fuck out of this place. Go fight those guys again and hopefully be done with this place, my friends. Gotta worry about the goat demons again. That's part number six, right? Okay, we got all the Rosetta Stone pieces. Now we can learn a new language. But first, we gotta survive the gauntlet. <clears throat> caca, caca! Damn. Fuck that fool up. Alright, two bitches down. Now we gotta fuck some kitty cats up. Time for the goat demons. Dude. All right. Dude. 
Wow. Well, it's a good thing I fucking saved it, isn't it? Holy shit. That was ridiculous. Holy shit, man. That was frustrating as hell. Wow, oh, that time they gave me the fucking acid darts. Well, shit. That's so annoying. <sighs> okay, Fr flustered, but it's fine. I just gotta go do that one side again where I gotta do the thing, and the thing, and the thing, and the stuff, and the things. Apparently, I, yes, I shouldn't underestimate the goats. I didn't underestimate them. Just like, if they sandwich you, you don't have any iframes at all, so you're just getting smacked back and forth and getting wrecked. That was just trash, man. Anyway, I gotta get the fucking key again, so hold on. Still less work than last time, just still work, unfortunately. Time for your shit, boy. Ain't got time for your shit, boy. I got the fire guy again. Refilled my acid darts. Let's get the fuck out of here. If I had to imagine a mummy worm, I would imagine something similar to those guys. Um, mummy worm? Mummy worm? Oh, those things. Uh, you know? You're not wrong. Maybe I'll catch it to see. You're not wrong. I'm actually not sure now that you say that. Mummy worm. Never mind. There you go. Good call, Garzonis. You're right. I actually forgot what the other monster was. Thank you for reminding me it was mummy worm. Good call. Good fucking call. Now if I could just, you know, kill these fucking goat demons without dying. I'm not, I really don't want to backtrack just to save it. Just for these goat demons. I can do it, man. I just gotta not get sandwiched by them. Easier said than done, I know. But, like, right off the bat, the camera's fucky. So I should just run away until the camera stops being fucky. Dude, come on. Fucking ass. Ass, dude. Fucking. Ooh. Now you're pissing me off, game. Fuck that. Oh my god, I let him fall on me, too. That was dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should go fucking heal, because I need some. or save so I can heal. Fuck, man. I need life. Hope that these fools drop some life. Drop some health. Fucker, dude. Nobody in here drops health. What an annoying enemy situation. Nobody wants to drop me any goddamn health.
You think it'd be cool to be mummified instead of buried? Uh, Sparty? Would definitely be interesting. It would keep your body alive much longer. Alive? From rotting. That's kind of what I meant. You wouldn't be alive. You'd still be dead. Dead as fuck. I will only have like half of my health, but you know, we fought goat demons with less before. Let's just stop sucking. I know easier said than done, but here we go. You could have a room in the basement with all your semi-decomposed relatives, all wrapped up in bandages. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't mummification be so cool, Sparty? And stinky as fuck? I'm just imagining how gross that would be. Don't we all want a Resident Evil basement? Don't we all? Kaka, kaka. One down. Good blocking, dude. You're not cool enough to be blocking like that. Fuck out of here. See, like this, the switch back to the camera after the enemy spawn is kind of a dumb. We're trying to assassin's creed me, cats. All right, these goat demons, man. Wait for the camera to not be fucky for a second. Right. Just gonna wait for that move, because the swingy move is impossible. They do that swingy move and you are fucked. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna capture this guy. Fuck him. I don't need to capture him, but I'm going to do it. Just for the sake of not having to fucking kill him the normal way when I already have him down. See, this is what happens. You just got to take your time. Over-aggression only leads to ruin in these games. Patience. Patience is key. Awesome. Ooh, I got a gold ink piece for that? Well, don't mind if I fucking do. They're like, that wasn't a challenge that you had to do, but we'll still give you a gold egg piece for it because we're nice like that. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. All right, we got past the bullshit. Let's get the fuck out of here, maybe, huh? Wait, what? This is. Is this the way I came? Seems to be blocked. Or not. No, oh, that's not the way I came. This is the way I came. Well, let's go chat with the professor and uh, learn a new language, I assume. Ready to learn and be free. Now that this place is sufficiently pissing me off enough, let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Man, we were well on our way to finishing that place. And then we fucking died at the first time. The second time we died too, but we had already saved it, so it wasn't as big of a deal. Can you imagine if I did it all again and didn't save it? Oh my god, I'd be so mad right now. I'd be fuming. I'd be seething with range. So much range. Save has been made. Go talk to the El Professor. Good sir. That's it. You've done it. You found all the Rosetta Stone pieces. Now I must try and reassemble the pieces of the legendary Rosetta Stone. Try to understand its secret. 
Will you allow me to take the Rosetta Stone pieces? Sure. Excellent, my boy. Excellent. Now I must get back to the, my tent in the Bedouin outpost and get to work. You must come and visit me to check on my findings. The Bedouin outpost is easy to find if you approach under, through the underwater passage from the Cursed Palace. Before I go, I want you to take the underwater projectiles. They should prove useful to you on your journey back to Bedouin outpost. I was just going to say, I don't have that, but now I do. Don't forget to visit me to check on my findings. I hope to see you soon, young, young chap. All right, so not only will I be able to read another language when I finish this, I also can shoot underwater, finally. Double dope. Yep, press B. Yep, got it. We can shoot underwater. Awesome. I don't know if it's uh, infinite, but I hope so. I'm going to save it again so I don't have to talk to him again. I don't expect to die again anytime soon, but it's always good to save scum when you can. Alright, we're done with this fucking place. See you!